we're going to show you how to add a device to the Vision CMS using your cloud ID. So when you first log into your Vision CMS, you're going to see the device management screen here. Okay. Under encoding device on the left, this is where you add devices, whether it be IP, LAN or WAN, or your DDNS. Again, using uh, WAN IP and or DDNS requires supports to be open and folded at the location of the MDR. If you set up a P2P account under the stock or live, um, which does not require your port forwarding, you would then log in on the cloud device on the left. So you choose login, you're going to put in your username and password for the, uh, the cloud account and choose login. So by default, it's automatically going to load your devices within your account. Um, and then in cases like this, so I know I have three devices. Right, but only two are showing. If I click on device details, it will show me all the devices that are within my account. So, for instance, the solar trailer was just partially, oh, it was temporarily offline and I just rebooted it. So, when I logged in, it didn't pull over to my account. And you can see under the added column, it says yes, yes, no. So, I could simply check off the device and I can add to the manage, and it's going to then bring it over to my account where it will then eventually connect and show up online. So as you can see under the status, you'll see when the device is online in green and when it's offline and or connecting, it'll be in gray. So once you have all your different devices, you're able to check here. Um, you're also able to see your shared accounts here. So if I was the admin administrator and I had my user create his own separate account to share a device to him, he would show up under here on the bottom hand side. Now, once you're logged in, you're going to go back to your control panel and you're going to go to live view. Okay, under live view, you're going to see your different devices. It's going to be split by IPCs and NVRs. So in this case, this is my 32 channel and the solar trailer that I just added via the cloud. And this is the camera that I added via my cloud account. Okay, down here in the bottom right hand, uh, bottom left hand corner, you have your different view splits. You can see the max is 64. Now, in case you are using multiple monitors, you are able to take this tab and you have a floating window. So you can drag and drop this to another window. With Vision CMS, the max views are going to be 64. So you can have two monitors with 32 and 32. You cannot have two monitors with 64 and 64. Again, it is max 64 depending on no matter the amount of monitors that you have. Okay, so relaunching the live view, you can go ahead and choose your different views. So in this case, I'm going to choose 32, knowing I'm going to load the 32 channel. I can drag and drop the device over and it will automatically populate all my cameras. Um, and these two cameras are offline, so you will get an offline me message. To exit or stop, you just simply hit the X, close all windows. The other option is you can expand the list. and then drag and drop cameras individually. So then I can rearrange the cameras as I see fit. Okay, and then, like I said, you can go ahead and choose your different unit views. Now, when it's in multi-screen, it's going to be the substreams, and you can tell that right in the bottom right-hand corner. When you pull it up full screen, it's then going to switch over to the mainstream. It is self-adaptive. It is helping allocate your resources within the PC. Double click it and it'll bring it back down to the substream. You can close your live view and then if you go back to the control panel, playback, it works the same sense. So you can go ahead and choose a device, expand, and then you'll search on the calendar. So if I wanted to go back and search the 18th and I wanted to check for camera one, once I select the camera, it's going to give me the red dots to show that I have recorded data for those days. I'll hit search. drag the camera over, and then it's going to populate. Okay, and then from here, you can go ahead and click along as needed on your time bar to see the different views. And again, it will be in your mainstream on full view and quad within the sub.